we're going to continue with conversions involving time. So let's look at example one. It says convert 1780 minutes into days, hours, and minutes. So we'll start with hours. So I know that 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour. When I convert from hours into minutes, I say divided by 60. So I'm going to start 1780 oh, divided by 60 gives me 29,67 hours. I'm focusing on the whole number only. So 29 hours, I can take off 24 hours, which is the same as one day. So that's my 24 hours. From 29, if I take away the 24, I'm then left with five hours. So what we're saying is 1780 oh, is the same as one day and five hours. Let's look at example two. It says convert 1,500 days into years, months, weeks, and days. So we will start with years. We'll say one year. Let's take three, six, five days. Let's take a month as 30 days. Okay, so we'll start. 1500 oh, oh, divided by 365. That's going to give me 4,12 years. Again, I'm going to work with the whole number only. So I'm going to remove the four years. So from 1,500, I'm taking away four years, which means my balance is going to be four times 365, which is 1,460 days. Remember, I started off with 1,500 days. So I'm taking away four years, which is 1,460, and I'm going to be left with 40 days. Now, my days, I'm going to convert it into months. So if I'm taking an average of 30 days for one month, from 40 days, I can then remove one month. And my balance is 40 minus the month, which we're saying is 30 days. That leaves me 10 days. Now, I need to, from my 10 days, I need to remove a week. So a week will take away seven days. So from 10 days, if I remove a week, that's 10 minus seven, my balance is going to be three days. So in other words, we're saying that 1,500 days is the same as four years, one month, one week, and three days.